Kotet has been revealed and it has basically ruined all my theories. Well, most of them. There's still a couple that could still be plausible. But with the full reveal of Kotet came the new cinematic trailer named Betrayed and how beautiful it is. So just like I did with Kotfi, here is my analysis and thoughts on the content within the announcement. Beware of any form of SWOTOR spoilers, especially from Knights of the Fallen Empire. So if you haven't played Kotfi, do that first and then come back to this video. Let's begin with an overview of the cinematic trailer. Whilst the trailer last year centred around Arkan and Thexen growing up, this year centred around Valen, who as we know is now in control of the Eternal Throne with the help of Scorpio. Within the game, Valen is known to be a very problematic woman with terrible anger issues and an incredibly twisted mind. And this trailer elaborates on that, which shows Valen using her anger from a young age to help her with her force powers, which she obviously got more used to doing as time went on and even shows her literally crushing the cool knights within their own armour. While Senya saw this as a major concern, it's clear to see Valkorion saw this as a major advantage. Then we move on to the cult. Whoever these people are, Valen was torn away from Senya and left with this cult to, I imagine, help channel her dark power, where she also obtained some pretty amazing tattoos. And come to think about it, Valen always had her arms covered up, which is probably why we never saw her tattoos within Kopfi. Senya clearly saw how much of a danger Valen would be remaining with this cult, so she took it upon herself to help break her out, though clearly she did not wish to be rescued. One thing to note within this trailer is that you can also see some white the cool knights and I wonder what the difference between the two are between the gold and the white because not only can they be seen pulling Senya away from Valen but also many years later or it's assumed to be many years later anyway in a flash forward they were killed and crushed similar to what happened when Valen was a child so are they on her side or aren't they oh and remember the Kotfi teaser image we were given a little while ago well, surprise, it was Valen, as seen here in the trailer. Here's also a side-by-side -side comparison if you don't really think it's her, but by her posture, it's it's definitely her. Come on. And I believe the last segment of the trailer must be set after the events of Kotfi, as Valen has far too much power now, probably due to being in control of the Eternal Throne for quite some time. There are a couple of questions I still have about this trailer. What is the meaning of the animal Valen has carved out of wood when she was a child? To clarify, it looks like some sort of bear, but my assumption is that it's a crate dragon. Also, what exactly occurred in the last scene of the trailer? Was there a massive war? Was it really all Valen's doing? And the biggest question is, who was Valen entrusted to as a child? Who is this cult? Next up, let's move on to everything we know about the expansion from the information given from the SWOTOR website and information trickling out onto SWOTOR's Twitter feed. Let's begin with the chapters. There are 9 chapters in total shown on the website, though it is unclear if this is all that there will be within Kotet or if there will be more to come in 2017, as what is revealed on the website appears to be a start to finish of the Kotet story. Where it mentions in chapter 1 that Valen begins her conquest, does this mean that the story picks up mid -day? days or weeks after Kotfi, or has she simply been quiet for a time? Chapter 2 has the player join forces with an unlikely ally. Who could this be? My best assumption is it's Arkan, but of course we just don't know yet. The vibe I get from Chapter 3 to me makes me think that this will be the chapter all our choices will hit you in the face and will affect numerous people within the Alliance. The title Dark Reunions could also mean many companions relating to your class may come back to bite you in the back. Chapter 4's title Where Dreams Die and the description could be a reference to the world Valen was taken to where the player may have to face the cult themselves. Chapter 5 could just be you've got into a bit of a pickle with this cult and the old ally comes to help. My assumption is Senya who may have somehow escaped the grasp of Valen since the trailer. Chapter 6 has me thinking back to Valen's carving of what I think again is a crate dragon, which at the same time could also mean there's another powerful group called the Dragon's Moor that the player gets caught in. Chapter 7 seems like the player will end up on a planet where the force simply doesn't exist, meaning any force sensitive user simply loses all their abilities. Chapter 8 will obviously be the penultimate chapter which builds up to the final battle and then chapter 9 will be the massive scale battle, most slightly bigger than chapter 16's in Kotfi. And that's all we know in terms of the chapters, we don't know if there will be any more in Kotet or if any further chapters will simply be released in perhaps another expansion coming next year. Or maybe chapter 9 will be the end of Valen's main story and the remaining half will be centred around somebody else. Thexen maybe? Speaking of Thexen, this brings me on to the next segment, 
characters. We're given a good solid list of characters we know will be in Knights of the Eternal Throne. Of course, some of the characters from Kopfi also play a role in this expansion, including Lana Benico, Theron Shan, and some class companions, including Galt from the Bounty Hunter class, Vet from the Sith Warrior class, Torian from the Bounty Hunter class, and T7 from the Jedi Knight class, and of course, Scorpio from the Imperial Agent class, who is currently helping Valen on the Eternal Throne. Then we have the Eternal Empire family with Valkorion, Senya, Arkan, and Valen. And Vexen too. Now, here's the interesting thing. Most people would probably assume they simply put Thexen within the cast of characters because he is simply part of the family. But as you can see, he has been given a character model. Granted that it could simply be a model Bioware have always had for him, but the fact that he is actually listed under cast of characters gives players the assumption that he may come back from the dead and play a role in the expansion. Or perhaps he may even return as a force ghost and play a role in that way. Who knows? Curiously, in the cast of characters there is also no mention of Koth Vortana, who for a lot of the players left the Alliance and stole the Gravestone. Though fortunately for me, I kept on his good side and he's still in the Alliance and I still have the Gravestone. However, what role will he even play in Kotet? Because here's how I see it. For players who lost him in the Alliance, it may not simply make much of a difference. But for players who still have him, does this mean that he will simply linger in the shadows of the Alliance or still help up massively in the long run? Will it be that Bioware simply finds a way for him to disappear in the first chapter so they don't have to worry about his story in the meantime? This is simply a handful of characters within the story, which of course has you wondering what other companions may come back and what new characters we can look forward to. Next up, let's talk about some of the features that will appear within the expansion. Firstly, notice how they haven't spammed choices that matter. Well done Bioware, you've realised. Of course the level cap will be raised to level 70 and Bioware say that there will be two new worlds to explore. One can only hope these are planets that we can return to and actually have post game content on them. Make dynamic dark versus light choices. So we already kind of are with the dark versus light event going on at this moment in time. So does this mean that this will be expanded upon within the game in some form? Next up, uprisings. No, no, not the Uprising. It almost looks like the group content Bioware promised seems to be whatever these are. However, where it says join up to three allies, does this mean three players, or could this be hinting at maybe taking three companions with you into these Uprisings? Most likely the first option, as Bioware did tweet alone or we're friends, which I guess also means Uprisings can be done solo if players wish. And then there's Play Your Way. Many of the complaints for Kopfi was that it was far too easy to beat. Now players can choose one of three difficulty modes, meaning the casual players and the hardcore players can both be happy. Finally, let's quickly talk about the subscriber rewards. If a player is subscribed on the date of October 25th, then they get Shay Vizsla as a companion similar to how Nico Akar worked in Kotfi. How would that work if you use Shay Vizsla in the Blood Hunt flashpoint? Okay. If the player is subscribed on the date of November 27th, they will get the Rapid Recon Walk Amount not very original, but I guess it would do, and if the player is subscribed during October 25th to November 27th, which accounts to 33 subscription days, so you will need to pay for two months, then players will get early access to the game, which begins on November 29th. The full game is released on December 2nd for those who do not subscribe during that period. So that's basically everything we know about Kotet so far. There have been things trickling out of the New York Comic Con Swotor Cantina, but nothing too major at the time of making the video. What I have heard is that there will not be any new operations at launch, there will be more information about content after chapter 9 in January, and there is a double XP event all the way up until what sounds like sometime in December. Of course, I cannot wait for this expansion, and no doubt I will be playing this on my channel, so do subscribe in preparation for it. I really look forward to delving deeper into the mind of Valen, as she is a fantastic villain in my eyes, very sadistic, and of course on what surprises may come within Kotet. Please also like and share this video to get the word out for the expansion. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you next time. Any farewell to you.